Now we're sighting in on the new line of enhanced pistols and revolvers from Smith & Wesson. It's the Pro Series with Performance Center touches at a production line price. Now we're sighting in with Shooting USA. The guns, the gear, and the information to get you on target. There has always been a market for handguns that have been worked over by a gunsmith for improved accuracy and the feel of a slicked up trigger, an action job. But those improvements have always had a steep price. Well then there's the custom gun solution, built up one at a time with individual fittings, stoning and enhancements. And now we're really talking a big number when it comes to price. But this is the new idea from Smith & Wesson a production gun from the factory built with enhanced performance parts from their master gunsmiths. This is the Smith & Wesson Performance Center with a select group of highly skilled gunsmiths not tuning guns but building custom guns. Roland Provost is one of the master gunsmiths working here. He's doing the final assembly on a short run of 952s. These are the highly accurate 9mm target pistols that retail for $2,400. And there is no comparable model available as a factory production firearm. Like all Performance Center models, the 952 is created here using the best parts and hand-tuned in assembly. It's strictly custom work. Master revolver gunsmith Jim Ray is doing some of that custom work on a revolver cylinder, cutting chamfers in the charge holes of an assembled cylinder with extractor. The chamfer cuts will speed the reloads of the owner, which could be Jerry Michelak. Jim Ray builds and tunes Jerry's revolvers for competition and his world records. Master gunsmith work that has to be done by hand and eye with the judgment of years of experience. But this cylinder is not going into a Jerry gun or a performance center model. It's one of the parts going to the factory for production assembly of the Pro Series guns like the SSR built with performance center parts. Well, the SSR, Jim, is uh, kind of a cross between, as you said, some of the guns that we do and the factory does. Uh, they've incorporated the tapered barrel like we use on our eight-shot revolvers, recess the muzzle, which the crowning adds for accuracy. We still use the prep parts, which are the, the, the forge hammer and trigger with the trap sear. The parts are stoned in a performance center before they get into the assembly process. We use a bossed mainspring, which is a lighter mainspring, reduced power mainspring, so it gives a smoother, lighter trigger pull. Those custom prepared parts and the chamfered cylinder run through the factory assembly process that begins with spinning on the barrel to an initial torque setting. Then comes the precise alignment of barrel to frame, checked in the fixture. adjusted with the large padded wrench. The companion cylinder is checked for concentricity. And then the cylinder gap is broached, cut at the forcing cone by the tooth tool that keys off the cylinder. The frame and cylinder are now matched for assembly. Rico Silva is one of the revolver fitters and he is very fast as the cylinder first joins the frame. And the long lever makes the precise cuts to the extractor ratchets that set the timing for rotation. Then come internal parts added quickly and the hammer. Then the mainspring with the tension screw set to lock it down. And a moment to check the timing of rotation. 
And with a quick move to the vise, Rico uses pressure from a nylon block to make the final deep chamfer cut to the forcing cone. Next, a check of the cylinder gap with a go-no-go no go gauge. A final check of the timing using a rod down the barrel to see the charge holes align before the hammer falls. And with the sights for this model, it's done. And if it's a Pro Series gun, like the SSR, it's done with all the custom parts and the Performance Center gunsmiths checking the assembly. So when a gun is built, it goes through the range and comes out of the range before packing. That's when we go over and we take a look at all the guns. You know, we'll check the trigger pulls on them. We can check the accuracy on them from the targeting they did in the range. And, you know, and then we can make sure that any adjustments made before the gun the final product goes out the door. And Jim Ray will pull selected guns for personal testing on the range. a total teardown to see that all the parts are working as specified by the Smith Master Gunsmiths. Back together and checked for trigger pull and timing in the hands of Jerry Michalak's gunsmith, this Pro Series SSR stock service revolver is legal to compete in IDPA competition because it's a production gun built with custom tuned parts to win. It gives you an excellent gun with very good accuracy and an excellent trigger pull. Where you're saving is the added labor where you're going to the nth degree on the Jerry Mitchell gun you're making for him or a Doug Koenig gun. There is one more advantage to the Pro Series guns. They are legal for IDPA competition since they are production guns. And the price of the SSR just over $1,000. The Pro Series 1911 in 45 ACP is 1500. But coming next, John has a budget-friendly project for the Ruger 1022 for about 10 bucks. Shooting USA is brought to you by Smith and Wesson. Safety, security, protection, and sport. And by Crimson Trace Laser Grips, the world's only grip-integrated laser sights.